Revolution. Welcome, Dr. Coleman. It's an honor to have you on the podcast today. We've been very excited for this time, so thank you. Thank you for being here. Oh, it's it's. I'm very happy to be here and uh, and to talk to you. Dr. Peter Coleman is a social psychologist and researcher and is a renowned expert on constructive conflict resolution and sustainable peace. He is a professor of psychology and education and also the executive director of the Advanced Consortium on Cooperation, Conflict, and Complexity at the Earth Institute at Columbia University. He is also the founding director of the Institute for Psychological Science and Practice at Teachers College at Columbia University. To list a few of many accomplishments, in 2003, Dr. Coleman became the first recipient of the Early Career Award from the American Psychological Association, Division 48, Society for the Study of Peace, Conflict, and Violence, and in 2015 was awarded the Morton Deutsch Conflict Resolution Award by the American Psychological Association and a Marie Curie Fellowship from the European Union. In 2018, Dr. Coleman was awarded the Peace Award from Meaningful World in celebration of their 30th anniversary and the UN's International Day of Peace, and he is the author of Make conflict work, harnessing the power of disagreement and the 5%, finding solutions to seemingly impossible conflicts, among many other books. His most recent book is called The Way Out, How to Overcome Toxic Polarization. So so let me just first start out. I, I started reading your book um, and I was almost, I, I was interested going, wow, he wants to come on my podcast. Um, so first off, how did you even find out about the podcast? That is a good question. I think, um, well, I've heard of the podcast before. I think I've caught snippets of it before. Um, and then I think it probably came through uh, Columbia University Press. Meredith Howard, who's the publicist who works with them um, and identified this. I think they set this up. So, um, you know, again, I, I, I've heard of you, but they reached out to you directly, I believe. Yeah. 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 So, so it was interesting because, because I was, I was reading, you know, the, the, uh, in the beginning of your book and what I just found amazing is, and I'm just going to tell everybody, get the book. It actually works because if it didn't work, Peter and I wouldn't be sitting here um, because of the fact that you and I are on absolute polar opposites of a political view um, of, you know, and, and, and probably just a lot of other views. But right now in this society, as, as you explained in your book and whatnot, this country is divided, uh, massively divided, and basically on politics, if not even religion, the politics. But the problem is people are caught up in this debate versus dialogue. And I think it's important, you know, as a as a mediator, and I've been I've been mediating for 14 years, um, and I specifically specialize in family mediation. Um, I believe that look, if we can get the family right, it trickles all the way up to the top. Um, and so, but the problem is, people just get into this debate and they look at what are the differences, not what unites them. What is the commonality? Um, and so even if you and I have different political views or different social economics or religious, doesn't matter where you, you know, if we look at what unites us, which is peace, how do we create peace? Then the rest of it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I think that obviously there's a place for debate and more competitive approaches to co- communication. We learn through debate, we can challenge one another through debate, but when, political divisions get as ensconced as they are today with a, you know, 50 plus year trajectory of increasing enmity and, and vilification of the other side and physically moving away from each other and cognitively oversimplifying our world. When those kinds of phenomena happen and we get trapped in those cycles, then debate is just, you know, it's just bait. It's, it just, you know, triggers in us a kind of, emotions and escalation and frustration and attack. And, and it doesn't get us anywhere other than further apart. So I think in these circumstances, um, debate is a problem. And um, I, I think that, you know, dialogue, which I think a lot of Americans don't understand or misunderstand, because when we say dialogue, we usually mean debate, right? It's like, oh, all right, let's dialogue about this. Well, it really means if it's about politics, it really means that my job is to prove you're wrong, I'm right, listen to you, weaponize your assumptions and your flaws and your logic and come after you, right, in order to win the argument. And that's a very particular kind of cognitive process that's a more closed process of persuasion. 
and not what I would call an open process of discovery and learning. Hi, my name is Sydney Mitchell. Hi, I'm Matthew Brickman, Florida Supreme Court mediator. Welcome to the Mediate This podcast, where we discuss everything mediation and conflict resolution. For more information about my services or to schedule your mediation with me, either in person or using my iChat Mediation virtual platform built by Cisco Communications, visit me online at imediateinc.com. Call me at 561-262-9121, toll free at 877-822-1479, or email me at mbrickman at iChatMediation.com.